people that have been able to beat him have been the twins, Mu Squared and Hyrule Hero. Um, Sometimes Squidbuster. I think Squidbuster did it once. Yeah. Um, Game Prodigy has done it before. And I believe Eco Katie. Yeah, that, yeah, Eco Katie has done him, it before. Beat him on one occasion. But his losses, few and far between. He's definitely a very powerful player. Balamar is, despite being a seventh seed, he is poised. He is poised and ready to destroy. Just about, yes, sir. So now we have pretty much the opening for this game, except for Tellertown. That opening cinematic could be this battle. Oh, so you mean Lucario loses, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and frame this matchup for me. Um, Pikachu is basically going to try and zone. Balamar is, and Lucario is going to try and get in. But with the grab being the first move thrown. But Balamar jumps over the counter. Oh, very good starts bone doing rush right there. He's going to get back into this. Oh, but he doesn't get the second bone rush like he expected to. He's going to see ADC out of that. Ooh, very nice counter! And uh, this could be pretty good damage right here. He's gonna get the second the second up tilt there. <laughs> Pikachu trying just to get that bread and butter in, but same with Lucario. Oh, but this is gonna Oh, it doesn't quite depend. He only gets hit by the first hit of uh of it. Oh, he looked to, to counter that by using his aura blast and you know, Pikachu is all ready and burst. Oh, very nice call out on the grab there. But the he force palm misses. Didn't quite get the force palm, but instead you use the thought. The goddess kicks and get that grab vortex going for Balamar. Gets another Ooh, grab. grab. Shields right before the burst hat. No, wait, no. what? 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 He was shielding. He was shielding that, and then he just drops it. Quagslayers now. We'll take those. <laughs> yes, we will. Oh, very nice call out on the grab. He's gonna get it one mix up. But Balamar, knowing that his burst is in full is in full gauge, is gonna use that to get out of that 50-50. And now he is looking for this burst. Ooh, the ore sphere. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, and it hits. That. Pikachu is dead. Yeah, that's the round, ladies there and gentlemen. There is no chance. Shinku just, Hadouken! <laughs> he's not just hitting it with the Shinku Hadouken, he's hitting it with the father-son Kamehameha. Look at the size of that thing. True. Quagsire is out already with the Mud Bomb, but Ooh, Balamar called jumps. The, called him out on that landing and already back in the burst. This is why Pikachu can kind of scare me. A nice second hit on that. On he that. knows the awareness that that comes in after it, but this is going to get shielded. Let's see what his mix-up is. He jumps out of the offensive option. Now he's going to be looking for this. Ooh, very gets nice the cancel there. He's going to use Lapras. But, but counter-attack does not quite get him. He's going to get grabbed here. It's going to be pretty good damage. It's going to force him back into field phase. No wall splat. Ooh, very good Oris. Oh, gets no, the CDAC just... grab against the wall. Now at 1 HP. Can he do it? No, he cannot. It's the grab again, ending game one. Guys, just attack. Just attack, guys. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm our flexes there's a again. Y button and there's an X button. Just mash the Y button. It's what I do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But now we're going into game two. What improvements do you think Jolts needs to make? Uh, There's a Y and an X button. <laughs> Like that is one thing that he that Balamar thrives off of is the grab mix up game. True. But he very seldom goes for anything else. So he needs to he needs to figure out those opportunities. Is he gonna go for a grab here? Is he gonna try to mix up and wake and do like a wake up attack or or something to that degree? And then it's on Balamar to to figure out how to improve upon that. But that falling but that falling week is gonna get a pretty good damage here. It's gonna force him in the wall. And Jolt started off really well here. I'm noticing Balmar really likes wake up counters, but gets the Iron Tail on that grab. And just when I say he likes doing one thing, he does the exact opposite. Oh, oh, oh that Force Paul. Force Paul, rip, rip lives. Quagsire is back out, but Balmar jumps it before it can do any harm. Gets the Snivy. A very nice Snivy there, but unfortunately isn't able to counteract with the... Oh, that's going to get punished. 
Will this kill? I do not believe, do not believe so. it will. It will put him pretty close to it. And but now he is in rage and he has burst. Let so, us remember that. So, one wrong move and yeah. One wrong move, AKA the miss on the mix up off of burst. <gasps> there. Oh, gets the wow. grab. This is going to do massive damage, putting them roughly equal. Equal. Oh, and the bone rush there. And that's going to be the first round of that game. So here we go, round two. He's going to go ahead and opt for Mud Bomb, looking for that option. He forced the jump out of him, didn't quite get the conversion he was looking for out of that. Ooh, gets tries to go for the counter attack there, and Balamar reads it and gets, gra and gets a grab out of it. Pretty good damage there. Bone Rush is shielded, but Balmar is just jumping all over the place. Just trying to get the nice, nice damage. Gets that, tries to get the counter attack, but is beaten out by Thundershock. Oh, the strong hit of the, of the Bone Rush is going to knock him down and send him back into Earth. Uh, Bone Rush Slam is painful. And he gets Bone Rush again. It's such a good approach tool. But that is, so far, 2-0 for Balamar. Yeah, he's probably looking to switch up the either the support set or the or maybe even the character. Let's see how it goes. He could either go Pikachu. He has many subs. He's going Pikachu. But he always happens to have some kind of just like wacky support that he can just pull out of nowhere. He likes his uncommon supports. The man knows his supports. It's very it's very good to see. Quagsire. I would probably say something along the lines of Fennekin or Umbreon. Fennekin or Umbreon could be helpful. Umbreon can, be even being more so. Well, it more or less forces him out of 50-50. Oh, he's not going just Pikachu now. He is going Pikachu Libre. Oh, yeah. At the same time, like Umbreon and Fennekin more or less allow you to more or less force you to... Shield. Allow them, well, no, they force you to shield or else you get knocked out of your 50-50. At least if it's something on Grounded or on Wake Up. This is his last chance. This little luchador is his last chance to fight Game Prodigy in winners right now. So, what do you think Jolts will have to do? Not get mixed up. Or at least go for like the similarity options that Balamar tends to go with. He, he just goes, has to... Gets that defense buff and that dive kick. Pikachu Libre now has Lucario in the corner. Jumps Very up. nice. Very nice. Mix up there. Thought it, told him he was going to do something, then canceled right out of it and pushed it behind him and got in. Balmar is attacking it with equal furiosity, though. Gets the Bone Rush again, but gets Wild Charge. Oh, wild Charge. It just slams him down. Pikachu Libre gets burst. Now with attack and defense buff, gets the dive kick. One wrong move. Oh, that's it. No, it's not. Doesn't work in the air. Snivy. Oh, he oh, can work. Super hard on that one. And that's going to be round one. That was such a change in pace from the first two games to now. But now he has to realize that he has to hold on and he has to force... He has, since he can now force a game three, he more or less has to force Balamar to play at his tempo right now. Gets the if he spark. can do that, then he can make an impact here. And that wild charge is going to get right over that down strong, and that's going to put him in a pretty good position right now. Jumps out, jumps out of in front of that counter, but then gets grabbed, then gets bone rushed. Uh, he counters it. Pikachu Libre goes into burst mode, gets that, no, does not get the defense, uh, that's only in field phase. Just bouncing around like a jumping bean, dear nice. God. Oh, but he gets called out, he finally uses that offensive option, he's going to get hit by that. Oh, It's going to go both ways, but the 50-50 still exists, and that might just be it. Yes, it is, it's going at round three.
So here we go, final round. This is his final chance. He's gonna go ahead and use that Jirachi to get himself a good synergy boost. Breaks and that the counter. counter through. He is gonna go, he is swinging to the fences right now. It's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. Tries, he gets Ooh. it. Gets the wild charge again. Those confirms are doing him great. Gets the attack buff and the defense buff at the same time. Respects the Latius though. Yeah, yeah, but now he's in a pretty tough position. He has to do this with no burst. He's going to be looking to get through this. Oh, doesn't get caught by the grab vortex. And now he's in a pretty good position right now. He is really just forcing these options out of him. And I'm completely honest with you, he's about to get burst again. <laughs> he uh, he literally could. If he had if he Ooh, found that bone rush. If he finds time to get Nice and this is he's gonna confirm getting that. That is burst again, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to go for something right here. He, he is, is gone Do the but burst now. Do the burst. But now he's gonna have to find oh. a way out, and that is not something that you need to be doing. Lucario also has burst, but does he use it? He does. He is. This is going to be down to the wire. Ray. What's he going to do? Dude, he's not going to burst. This is not going to be good. This is not good for him right now. Waits for the counter to come out. Goes back towards the wall. That could be a shield break. It's, it's not. not. He's, he's running for the fences. He gets it. That is game three. He takes a game off of Balamar by he, doing the tried and true. By doing the guns. tried and true fighting game. Of timer scam. Yeah. Yeah, or footsies. It's, that's one way to do yeah, it. Yeah, footsies, timer scam. I mean, there's <laughs> a lot of different terms for this, but. Okay. But he just went for the timer scam there and was able to get that. And able to take that round because, you know, Balamar went for three grabs there. <laughs> So, do you think ba what do you think Balamar is gonna have to do now? Because I think he's going Mewtwo. Oh, he, I think he's. For, I think that was whimsical. That might have been whimsical for Cheer. This under this is understandable, because Pikachu Libre plays Super Rushdown. He's a very momentum heavy character. He's Super Rushdown. But Mewtwo is very anti-rushdown because he has a lot of moves that are counter moves. He has a lot of safe counter moves. He has elemental punches. He has hyper beam. He has that counter that pierces everything on the ground. And he's not only that, but he's going to try to use projectile. He's probably going to try to use projectiles to slow him down. Gets the homing attack in the air. I, tries to confirm into Hyper Beam, but that is punishable and gets wild charged again. Ooh, very nice! Tries to get the grab, but he is. Oh my goodness. Again, with the wild charge combo. Yo, he is just. He is momentum firing his way through this, but he that's, tries that homing attack is going to push him pretty good, and he is... Now we have combos. Uh, Does not get the just frame, but sends him back in the field phase, where Mewtwo is happy to deal with him there. Oh! oh no way! No way! It worked! Go, no, let's go! This is Death, this is Fancy, and this is Pikachu Libre, boys. Oh, that was good. That it's was the Jirachi. such a fantastic conversion there. Oh, and instead he, he pierces out that counter by stopping him. Good gets gracious. The, gets the suplex grab. We have defense and synergy up there too. Balmar charges. Oh, he comes out the counter again. You jolt is, he is on fire right now. Again! Oh, he pulls out the straw, the homing attack, and that's gonna. That was such, 
smart usage. Because of the fact that they patched out with that infinite, he now has to go for an option, or he can wait for one. And he, whenever he saw him come in with that homing attack, he caught him. Oh, and that single hit of homing attack and mixes up into a grab. He is pushing the lateral here. This is this is a complete oh, turnaround. Oh, that's not very good. He's getting slammed to the ground, and all things considered, he's starting to find himself back into this. Rage Mewtwo is not to be messed with. Gets a grab, though, and puts him down. One to more about the big same attack, way. and One that's going to be it. Oh, very nice, and doesn't quite get it. Tried oh. to get web, but it doesn't work. Oh, man. This is a complete turnaround of what was happening in the first two matches. But there is still one thing that he has to pay attention to, and it's right up there. Mewtwo has burst. This is such a huge development for Balamar for the fact that he has burst and he can use it. Oh, wait. He tries to get it again! But this time it's going to be punished by that anti-air homing attack. Gets the grab too. With no defense buffs or synergy buffs, it does quite a bit of damage. Double. Gets homing attacked again. Mewtwo does have burst, but he opts to grab. Tries to get the hyper beam though. He's in burst. burst. This is gonna be a very this is such a tough opportunity, and that end punch is gonna Balmar drain. Takes it. His winner's life away. <laughs> Balamar, what are you doing? Hooray, mental game. Hooray for mixing up one of three, one of six thousand times that you actually did anything.